Hi, this is Digital by Computing. We're going through the steps on how to install Windows 10 onto your Mac using VMware Fusion. So we're assuming that you already have the VMware Fusion application, which is this application down here. So you would have downloaded it, uh, maybe purchased it, or you're using a trial version that you can get from the VMware Fusion website. You can also navigate to it through the applications area on your finder as well. So let's just go ahead and open up VMware Fusion. And we're going to go to add and new. So you'll, be, you'll be presented with a similar screen to like this. So what we're going to say is we're going to say install from disk or image. Now, in my case, I've got a ISO for Windows 10, which is this one here. So this is an ISO that I acquired through a um, through a, an MSDN license that I have. Um, but you also may have Windows 10 on a CD or a DVD. Uh, you can also convert that to an ISO if you want. But this demo is going to go through the steps on how to install it using the ISO itself, not from the disk. But the steps are virtually identical, except that you're selecting it from the disk as opposed to the ISO image file instead. Okay, so we're going to just say install from disk or image and say continue. It's now going to ask us to choose the operating system. So you're going to throw this up. We're going to go to ISO and select the Windows 10 and open. It's going to add the ISO into the menu here. We select continue. Now in here, you're going to select Microsoft Windows. And now you'll see that Windows 10 doesn't show up in my particular edition. It's not too big of a deal. Essentially, what all, all this is, is just uh, they're just templates. So they're going to automatically customize um, you know, the, the specs of your virtual machine to, uh, you know, for your operating system. So in our case, we're going to have Windows 8. Newer versions of this uh, VMware Fusion will have Windows 10 on there as well. But for this, we're just going to select Windows 8. Select the highest one that you've got on your, on your site and continue. Now for here, we're going to say customize settings because we actually want to change some um, settings. Uh, it's going to ask me where I want to save this image. So this is actually going to be running Windows 10 in an image file that is loaded on your hard drive on your Mac. Okay, so it's actually just a simple file that you can go and, and copy. You can copy it onto an external hard drive to back it up, etc. And you know that that is your entire Windows installation right there. So we're going to just select it to put it into documents, virtual machines, and we're just calling it Windows 10 and save. We're now presented with this window for adding um, processor memory, adding other specs, actually system settings that you can alter as well. We're going to leave most of it as the default. We're just going to go into processor and memory, and I'm just going to leave this as one core, which is essentially one CPU. But I'm going to bump the RAM up. I'll put that in to two gig of RAM. Okay. You'll see that this is how, this is how much RAM I have available left on my Mac. Um, depending on the specs of your Mac, you'll be able to give your uh, VM more or less um, processor memory specs as well. Okay. So I'm just going to give it two gig just for now. You can bump that up. Obviously, the more RAM and more processors that you give it, the faster the VM will run, but the slower your Mac will run because this is going to be running side by side on your Mac operating system. All right, so we're leaving that as default. And we then go ahead and press the big play button. So this will now open up that ISO as it's done. And it's now going to start to load the Windows installer. Install. you'll see that setup is now starting. Now in this case, we're not going to do an upgrade because we don't have a Windows um, installer already on here. We're going to just go to custom. It's going to show up your hard drive space. Now this is the space that we allocated. All right, so this is 60 gig. You can go in and customize this and make it bigger as well by going into your virtual machines and into settings. And in here, you'll see that it says 60 gig. But you'll see that here it says hard disk cannot be changed while the VM is powered on. So you'll have to shut it down to be able to expand it. 
you can also add additional discs at a later stage as well okay so you don't have to do that right now but it's just good to know if you want your c drive to be larger than 60 just do it before you go and install your windows 10. so select that and we click on next and that is now going to start to copy the windows installer files and install your windows 10. So the install should finish after some time and you're going to be presented with some uh, login um, setup screen uh, that you can go through and customize. Go ahead and customize this as much as you want. The installer should have now finished for Windows 10. Uh, it may show up something like this, asking if you want to allow PCs to be shared on the network. Uh, you can say yes. Essentially what this means is, is your Windows 10, um, like the image that's running on here, is using your network card of your Mac. So you're essentially sharing what's called, I think it's bridge mode. You're, you're um, bridging your connection from your Windows installer to your Mac installer as well. So that is Windows 10 installed. The thing that I'd recommend is installing VMware Tools, which is this app here. Install. We want to run, and yes. So this is just gonna allow uh, greater connectivity between your Windows VM, your virtual machine, and your Mac operating system. So highly recommend install VMware tools as one of the first things you do as soon as you install Windows 10 onto your Mac itself. It's just a simple install, and once it's done, you're more than likely going to have to restart your computer. So just go ahead and install. We'll leave all the customization settings the same in typical. Shouldn't take very long to do this. The installer will finish and click on finish and it's gonna ask you to restart. Go ahead and do that. But that is essentially it. So that is now Windows 10 running on your Mac through VMware Fusion. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.